Are you ready to revolutionize your workflow with powerful AI, all without breaking a sweat? Imagine getting a concise, AI-written tech news roundup in your inbox every few hours or every day, no manual scanning, no missed headlines. Here's the email I get every day. It tells me in a few short paragraphs everything that's important to know in the tech world today. That's exactly what we'll build in the next few minutes using Olama Turbo and N8N. Olama Turbo changes the game with private, secure, open source models. Until now, you either needed a pricey GPU at home or an expensive cloud instance. Olama Turbo gives you super fast access to the biggest and best open source models and your data stays in your control never being saved or sent to anyone else. For this video, I'm gonna work with Turbo in N8N, the automation platform that makes it all possible. And today's video is sponsored by them. So how exactly do you get Turbo up and running with N8N? Well, it turns out it's incredibly simple. I don't know if this was intentional on the part of the N8N team or, or what, you just need your Olama Turbo key and you're pretty much good to go. So let's take a look at how to do it. Here I am in N8N. This is a self-hosted version I'm running on my hosting or VPS. To add Olama Turbo, we can start by just adding a new credential by choosing Create Credential. From the list of credential types, choose Olama. There isn't one for Olama Turbo, at least not yet, but it doesn't really need it. For self-hosted Olama, you enter your URL. In most cases, this is going to be HTTP colon slash slash localhost, then colon 11434. We can skip the API key unless you're going through some sort of proxy like Open Web UI or, or some other tool. When you click on save, N8N will try to connect. And if you get an error, you'll see that here. For me, I enter my tailscale domain name. That's because I'm hosting N8N on a remote VPS, but Olama is running from my local machine connected via Tailscale. Olama Turbo is gonna be a little bit different. First, we need to use the URL HTTPS. Note the HTTPS and not just HTTP. Then colon slash slash, then olama.com. We don't need the port here. Below that, we need to enter our Olama Turbo key. When you set up Olama, you probably dealt with giving olama.com your public SSH key that was generated by the Olama CLI. That allowed you to upload new models to the Olama library. You'll use different keys for Turbo. Go to olama.com and make sure you're logged in. Now click on settings under your profile picture. On the left-hand side, choose keys and then click on add API key. You can give the key any name you like, and it's just a name for you to tell your keys apart. If whatever tool you're using gets compromised, you can easily delete just that one and create a new one. Then click Generate API Key. You're going to be shown this key just this one time. Copy it and then paste it into the key field back in N8N. Now let's create a new workflow in N8N. But before we do that, if you enjoy content like this that shows you interesting ways to work with Olama in tools like N8N, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And now let's get back to building that workflow. Click the plus sign in the middle of the screen and then type in Olama. Choose Olama model. If you need to choose your credential, choose the one that you just created. And then for model, choose the model you want to use. At the time of this recording, you can use GPT OSS with 20 or 120 billion parameters, as well as DeepSeq v3.1 with 671 billion parameters. As with all Olama Turbo models, these models are not quantized and support the full context size that the model natively supports. At this point, you can chat with the model just like any other UI. Now, last time I made a video about using Olama in N8N, Folks said it was a terrible UI, way too complicated for working with models compared to tools like Open Web UI. But of course, these two tools have 
nothing to do with each other. N8N is a workflow automation tool versus Open Web UI, which is a, a simpler chat UI. If you're only using AI from a chat interface, whether that be Open Web UI or ChatGPT or Claude, you are missing out on the real power where AI can become a part of all of your tasks automatically and seamlessly. The folks who probably get the most out of AI will almost never chat with any model directly. Let's take a look at one workflow that starts to solve a real problem you might actually have. You want to stay up to date on the tech news items that a lot of folks care about. A great source for that news is Hacker News, which is run by the folks at Y Combinator, a venture capital accelerator in Silicon Valley. Let's say you want to get news from the front page of Hacker News and then summarize each article and then take all those summaries and create a short summary of all of them together in one easy to read article. And you want that in your email, let's say every hour. So we can start out with a scheduled trigger that triggers the workflow every hour. And then that goes to the Y Combinator Hacker News node. For a resource, set it to all and limit it to 20 items. Now we only really care about three of the fields. So I'll add the split out node and drag over URL value, title value, and story ID to the fields to split out. I'll rename the first two to story URL and story title. So now I have 20 URLs for stories folks on Hacker News found interesting. Next, I wanna summarize each article. To do that, I need to get the text of each article and then hand it off to a model. The best way to do this is to add the loop over items node. Now in the loop, add the HTTP request node and get the story URL from the split out node. Now this gets me the full HTML of the article, including a lot of HTML and other garbage. So use the web page content extract node, which is one of the really useful community nodes in N8N. There are a lot of really useful community nodes out there. And if you haven't tried them out, you really should try some. Of course, I think a lot of community nodes only work on self-hosted. So if you're using the cloud version, you may need to find a different way to do this. Now, sometimes there are pages that won't download properly. There are ways to deal with that, but I'm just setting the nodes to ignore errors and move on. Now we add the basic LLM chain node. I'll set the prompt as defined below, and then I set it to create a short summary of the following story. It should include the most important details, but be as short as possible. Output the summary as JSON. And then I include the output from the content extract node. I wanna be able to extract just the summary, so I'll require the specific output format. Now add a model and choose the Olama model with the turbo credential. I've found that GPT OSS 20B works well, but you can choose a gargantuan model if you want. I wanted it to work quickly for the demo. I also added a structured output parser to ensure the output looks like this. Now that connects back to the loop node and out of the done output, I connect the aggregate node, which brings out all the summaries into a single list. Now add another LLM chain setting the prompt to here's a list of recent stories, create a couple of paragraphs that summarizes them all in one coherent block followed by the list of summaries. Then finally, that goes to a Gmail block and sends me this email. Recent tech policy shifts are tightening the security of everyday digital experiences. Google announced that starting in 2026, every app installed on certified Android devices must originate from a verified developer, a rule that will roll out worldwide after an October 2023 pilot and will first be enforced in Brazil, Indonesia, Singapore and Thailand in September 2026. In the United States, the FCC's Enforcement Bureau. There's another paragraph after that and a list of the articles listed afterwards. This has 20 articles that are summarized and then all those summaries are further summarized. I have this running a few times a day, though it probably makes sense choosing a different interval. That potentially adds up to a decent amount of tokens every time it runs in whichever model you use. 
But one of the wonderful things about Olamo Turbo is that it's a flat rate of $20 a month, even for the API. If this is your only AI workflow, that may not be great, but I expect you have far more you can automate with AI. So I'm digging using Olama Turbo with N8N. I get really powerful models at a fraction of the cost of other online providers with none of the privacy and security concerns that they usually come with. I hope seeing this workflow and the result can inspire you to try building more using N8N with Olama Turbo. And if you come up with something cool, please share it with me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.